I'm Lily Epes, and this is your B&B coronavirus report for Monday, May 18th. And today is a 46-day school that we've missed since we began following the governor's stay-at-home order. Yesterday in Albany, Governor Cuomo discussed the state's expanded testing capacity and urged all New Yorkers who feel as if they may have had the virus to get tested. The governor even demonstrated how easy it is to be tested. This is Dr. Elizabeth Dufort, who is in the appropriate PPE wear. Nice to see you, doctor. You make that gown look good. Head up. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. Why do I need to close my eyes? You can question the doctor. That's okay. Why do I need to close my eyes? For comfort. comfort. It might make you tear a little. Bit. Okay. If I fall asleep, <laughs> then we'll have you sit down. I don't believe it. That's okay. it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Nothing else. That's it. Told you. Thank you very much, doctor. That is the whole test. I'm not in pain. I'm not in discomfort. Closing my eyes was a moment of relaxation. There is no reason why you should not get the test. Saturday night, a program was broadcasted across all major networks and streaming services, honoring the class of 2020. The video featured performances by major artists and high school students, as well as addresses from students, comedian Kevin Hart, and former President Obama. Now let's check out what's going on around our neighborhoods and get some reaction about the graduation together from our B&B reporters around the district. For B&B, I'm Casey Farr. Now the idea that graduation was happening online throughout the country, uh, the big event that was happening, well, I guess it was two nights ago now, um, I thought it was a really good idea. I personally didn't watch it. I know a few people did that I uh, talked to, but not a ton of people were too interested in it. And personally, I just feel as a senior with no graduation, that it was like kind of redundant. Just like everyone trying to make the seniors feel great. Um, I like the effort. I uh, personally, it's just not my thing to have something like that where everyone's just trying to make you feel better. But uh, I thought it was still a great idea, a great event, um, great idea, great concept, and everything around it. Just personally, I didn't watch it, but I feel like seniors around the country sure do need something like that, where they can uh, make sure that their commitment to learning and accomplishments are being rewarded. So for me and B, I'm Casey Farr. So I think the 2020 graduation uh, program on TV was actually pretty cool. Um, it almost made me wish that I graduated this year because uh, it was really cool to see people like LeBron, Obama speak for the class of 2020 and congratulating them for uh, their graduation um, amid uh, all the pandemic problems going on right now. But um, I think it uh, made people it made people feel happy and made them feel hopeful. Uh, there was definitely some emotional moments in the crowd, and um, I think it was overall just a great uh, great idea, great concept for uh, the class of 2020, and uh, I think people loved it. For B and B, I'm Jake Winkleman. I'm Emily Epps reporting from Patricia Lane. The other day, seniors across the nation got together to graduate together online. A commencement speech was given by former President Barack Obama, and the student morale and spirits were lifted during these troubling times. Celebrities like David Dobrik, Lana Condor, Kevin Hart, and Timothy Chalamet all came together to show love to the graduates. These people bring in millions of dollars a year and more, and people are calling on them to donate more than just a performance. Jeff Bezos, who was not in Graduate Together, has become the center of these arguments. Bezos already donated $100 million to food banks, but many agree that that is not enough. With a current net worth of $144.1 billion, $100 million is only 0.07% of his net worth. If people who live paycheck to paycheck, which during the virus has grown to 4 out of 5 Americans, can donate to hospitals and charities and throw their change in the jars at supermarkets, millionaires should contribute as well. Much more. Although there is some negative air that Graduate Together has brought about, for seniors, it was the best that they could do during the pandemic. From BME News, I'm Emily Yucht. Thanks, guys. And a few weeks ago on The Daily Report, we checked in to see what the Belmore Library was doing during the shutdown. Today, BNB's Jake Wickelman checks in with the librarian Merrick. During a time like this in the community, the Merrick Library has outdone themselves by donating 3D printed face masks to hospitals in need. 
One Merrick Library employee, Josh Fire, has helped participate and contribute into making these masks for our safety of our community. Yeah, so, you know, we were really inspired um, by looking around at really what other people were doing. So, um, what really uh, sparked it, though, was um, David Ecker at uh, Stony Brook University. Um, they have an iCreate lab, is what they call it. Um, and uh, David Ecker runs it, and he had gotten the idea to do, um, you know, 3D face shields. So it's a little bit different than, um, you know, uh, just a mask. It's kind of, you know, covering the face in addition. So it, it seemed really cool that they were all doing this, and yeah. so we were kind of like, what about us and NASA? We got to do something too. So uh, we started emailing each other around and, um, you know, we weren't able to get like a centralized print farm like they did, but we kind of, each library kind of created their own, you know, policy and um, we decided to, you know, to do the uh, project that we did. And um, yeah, it was great. I mean, it, it was really something to, uh, you know, once you, it's one thing to like print them and put them together, but then once I saw them on, you know, the, the, essential workers faces and you know, it's, it's a totally different thing. Alongside face mix, the Merrick Library has offered to allow people that don't have a library card to go online and sign up for a digital one. So um, we are doing digital cards now um, all throughout Nassau. Um, we realize that there are you know, people who might not have a card that yeah. want to sign up for one now. So if you don't have one, you can sign up for just a digital one. Of course, if you already had a card, um, you know, that still works for everything. Um, and we have a lot of digital services that I think are great, you know, that people can look into. With well over 500 face masks already made, the Merrick Library has set an amazing example of helping out in the community and giving back to our frontline heroes. For b and I'm Jake Winkleman. Thanks, Jake. So that will do it for another episode of the b, &B Daily Report. Be sure to tune in to b, &B this Friday for the b, &B Awards, where the best work of the b, &B students will be honored. Be sure to subscribe to the BNB YouTube to get the latest on all that's going on around the district during this difficult time. To the members of our community and of our family who are struggling today, know that you're not alone. For BNB, I'm Lily Epes. I hope you had a great weekend and stay healthy, Muppum.